Recognize it? The other end of this comms is the enemy you failed to find in your ten-year search of this city. Now who can feel the pain? The nightmarish string of numbers occupies our mind. What are the numbers, Mason? Uh, occupies our mind, brain, uh, igniting the boiling mini in our body. At the same time, it awakens a dormant, painful memory. The dis sea tide is rising ahead of schedule. We can't hold out with this temporary line of defense. Requesting to retreat. We must retreat. I need to fucking go, man, but I can't skip this because they don't allow you to do it again. No word from Paradesos yet? What about the comms? Didn't they say they have a way to contact us through the Black Ring? Obstructions cleared. Black Ring observation anchor established. Mania noise filtered out. Established connection. Connection established. Greetings, FAC personnel of Eclipse Operation. I'm your Paradisus Observer and Liaison Officer. We have completed data collection and battlefield analysis, and our decision is the mission shall continue. There is only one goal, do your best to withstand this sea's rising tide before the task is complete. I will assist you in redeployment. Calculate based on the relative time inside the ring. The remaining forces can withstand for another 34 minutes. You again. I understand that everyone's mental state has reached the breaking point, so I also bring some good news. Rescue forces have gone deep into this sea. Hang, hang on for a bit longer. As long as you can withstand the tide and extend the window for 44 minutes, they will reach the temporary levy. Alright, brace yourself. Uh, you are in place where determination can alter reality. You are the staunch, staunchest and bravest people in all of this city. You can do it. Once, we held up for three hours. No help ever came. You lied to us, and left us to die. This operation is of great significance, and we can only rely on the FSC. Paradisos conveys to you our utmost respect. You let them die there for no reason! All worked up? Who are you shouting at? A sharp object pierces Rahu's collarbone thanks to the excruciating pain. Finally, struggles. What the fuck was that? Um, I'm guessing any fucking crackers or something. Thanks to excruciating pain, she finally struggles free from the hallucination, opening, forcing open her eyes and returning to reality. Does she have a knife in her throat? She's in a tailor shop, not in the Tis Sea of 10 years ago. The person in front of her is the assassin, not the bloodstained number she's pursuing. Garpana has already slipped away from the heavy shield. She is still smiling, weakly but triumphantly, as she slowly spins a needle, piercing Rahu, sending the poison and contamination deeper into her I body. I didn't want to use this on you. You had an intense reaction. Did you see the enemy you've been thinking about all these years? <laughs> Where did you get this code? How come you know so much? This code is the only clue that Rahu has about the person. She memorized in a search for 10 years, but never saw anything outside of her nightmares. Yet now this woman easily dishes out her deepest secret and knows more about that number than the soul survivor herself. Could it be that you were there too? And to see? Or... Paradisus? You've seen that person? Who is he? Where is he now? She wants to grab the assassin who stabs her with another needle. Rahu's body goes numb. The poison spreads to every corner of her body, slowing down her movements and making it impossible for her to keep up with the enemy. That is so true that even though they all are S ranks, not all S ranks are the same. The S rank from the other event I played, she is fucking insane. What's the rush? Can't you see I'm about to tell you? I did some dirty work for mania traffickers in exchange for information. I know they're bastards, but I don't care. Only the shadiest bastards can get to the shady truth. They can tear open the facade of Paradesos and give those hotshots something to worry about. Can ordinary folks like you and me do that? 
but as the narrator pierces Rahu's other shoulder, the poison and mania erode deeper, ferociously torment the soldiers on the verge of going manic. I know my hands are dirty. I know that some of the Paradesos people I attacked were innocent, but they've all been useful. She faces out a third needle but doesn't rush to stab Rao. She slowly traces Rao's chest with the te needle tip as if probing the heart of the prey. Those Paradesos fucks have always been secretive. Outsiders don't even know where Paradesos is. But recently, several of their people have parachuted into Eastside. They visited Nirvana, the FAC, the City Council, lots of places. You and I both know they're here to fix the mess in West District. There's no question that they're important. So we're both here to seize upon this rare chance. To use them to learn about and infiltrate Paradesos. You forced your way into this protective mission, trying to gain her trust. How upright of you, FAC soldier. But no matter how hard you try, those nobles won't take their dog back to Paradesos to get information from those bastards. This is what you have to do. Your partner tears open the frost uh, front of Rao's coat with the needle tip, revealing the flowery scroll inside the pocket. Takes this it out. This is a notice letter sent to every Paradesos person on my hunting list in advance. They're smart and know at first glance that it's not a death threat. But a lifeline. The puzzles aren't difficult. They all know what I want, and will tell me if they want to live. I've clearly laid out the deal. Give me the information, and I'll spare your life. Can you guess if they told me or not? There are bound to be those who don't know anything. And there are also many innocent people around them. But you didn't spare them either. That's right. Isn't this the necessary sacrifice? They will surely understand. It's the only way to fully appreciate the gravity of this opportunity. There are bound to be those who will spill the beans. And some already have. This is the right way to use this opportunity. This is true revenge. I'm willing to give up everything and burn in hell. It's been ten years. What have you accomplished, aside from acquiring your power and getting close to a useless Paradesos woman? The toxin magnify the shock and confusion Rao's heart. Pants heavily, both from pain and excitement, she starts laughing. <laughs> There's still you. Isn't there? I don't need to betray the FAC. I can just rip open your mouth and get everything I want! Her smoldering mania suddenly erupts. Roaring Rahu leaps up and sprints forth with the needle still protruding from her. She grabs Garofano by the neck, rams her into the wall with all her strength. Almost simultaneously, the sheer force of a mania triggers the alarm. The harsh sirens ring throughout the villa. Someone fires Sinner, a shot. Let go of that woman! You've lost control already! Stop right now! If you don't surrender, we'll shoot! The sniper bullet pierces through the window and visits towards Rahu's temple. She instinctively blocks it with her shield, losing her grip on the enemy. <laughs> what amazing power! Your mania even triggered the alarm. They'll treat you like a monster now. Will the FAC still want you the way you are now? Will they kill you? <laughs> With her last bit of strength, she reaches out to touch Rahu's cheek and peels off her mask. Bright red mania, burn marks sear the soldier's face in an instant. Rahu roars and lets go of her, stumbled backwards, covering her face. I've long completed my revenge. Somebody put an end to my hatred, soothing the rage and emptiness in my heart. I have a new family, a new life. I have received salvation. I wanted to bring you back too, but it seems that not all exploited souls can become family. 
You make me cherish the only treasure I have even more. I won't let anyone hurt my possessions again. I won't spare you or the people you want to use us to please. I gave up everything to seek revenge. And now, I will double down on defending my future. How can you, who have nothing, win against me? You're an abandoned dog that does nothing but bark blindly. 